What's up, everyone? Good morning. Happy Friday. We are from a pretty cool location today. Hoping everyone can hear me. It's a little loud here. We are at we're in Glens Falls, New York, which is about halfway between Saratoga Racetrack, where the horses race, and uh, Lake George, big vacation spot. And this spot here is a uh, hydroelectric dam. Pretty cool. So they're here harnessing the power of the river. Pretty cool. Look at all the factories here built on the river. Really cool sky this morning. We got an old glory sitting over here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? Some really old stuff. Check out that uh, structure up there. Beautiful sky this morning. All right. So we are in a pretty cool spot here. Um, got really cool skies. Upstate New York, awesome. Up here for the Adirondack Nationals Car Show. Big giant car show that uh, goes on every year, the weekend after Labor Day. I dragged the 63 Impala Station Wagon up with me. And uh, we're going to go cruise the strip uh, this afternoon, put the car in the show. Today and tomorrow's car show all day long. long with a couple uh, thousand cars up here. But um, uh, we got to bring you the message of the day from a new and improved location. Uh, the message of the day, uh, listen to uh, Ryan Stewman this morning, um, Rewire podcast. And he was talking about we're only as strong as our weakest link. And a lot of times it talks about teamwork. A business, but um, really, who we're talking about in life? So, what's your weakest link in life? What what hurdle do you have to get across? And one of the one things he talked about, and one of the things that kind of gets me too, is um, not losing your focus, uh, not letting things distract you, um, not letting things I call it steal your joy. Uh, I talk about this a lot. Um, in our lives, we, you know, we let things take us off track. Uh, we let things take us sideways. We let things steal our joy. Um, I was talking to a friend the other day. We talk about someone cuts you off in traffic and you spend an hour trying to run them off the road and then you get to work and you're all cranky and tired, you know, and upset that just how dare this guy cut me off. And I've kind of come up with a, I call it the breathe and roll method. Uh, when something tries to take you off your goal and off track, take a deep breath and let it roll off. Let it roll. Let it roll. Don't get excited. Don't let it take you. Don't let it take you off course. Because uh, many times in life, we're, we're, we wake up, we're on a mission to get something done, and something goes sideways, and we're off our mission. And we're thinking about it the whole day, and it's on our mind all day, and it's eating us up all day. And uh, you got to cope with that. You got to learn how to deal with that. And again, something I've, I've dealt with, uh, you know, you're on your path, and, and Someone calls, you get a phone call that knocks you off. You have a fight with your spouse. You have a fight with one of the uh, people at work. Again, you have a fight over a parking spot. You have a fight over who cut you off in traffic. And that consumes you for the rest of the day and takes you off your goal and takes you off track. And that becomes a weak link in your life. Um, so when something goes sideways in your life, think about the breathe and roll method. Take a deep breath and let it roll off. Don't let it consume you. Don't let it steal your joy. Don't let it eat you up all day. Don't let it distract you from your mission because uh, all these things in life are distractions. Uh, say the distractions by the devil when we're doing something good and we're on a mission and we're, we're making progress and the devil says, hey, we don't want to do this. We're going to take them off their, off their track and we're going to send some strife into their world and, uh, and we're going to eat them up and, and lose their focus. So breathe and roll, breathe and roll. When stuff happens today, the rest of the week, breathe and roll. Let it roll off. Take a deep breath. Release it. Let it roll off. Don't don't let it eat you up. And uh, that's the message for the day. Uh, Thirty day challenge is going on. Uh, a couple of you are in it. Uh, those of you who don't know about it, I challenge everyone for thirty days. Be intentional with a relationship in your life. Reach out to one person that you wouldn't normally talk to, 
and have an in-depth, intentional conversation and find out what they're doing, find out what they're about. Um, you'll find as you start doing this, people are going to come to you. Uh, yesterday, I had a great phone call with a friend I haven't talked to in a while, called out of the blue, and we got deep about some stuff. And uh, I'll talk about this further. Those of you, I got a group now. Um, we write at Dawn 365 Facebook group. Uh, I talk about more stuff in that group. So go find it on there. We write at Dawn, all one word, 365. Join the Facebook group. I invited a bunch of you to it. And I'll talk more in there further about the 30-day challenge. But right now, touching upon it, if you want to learn more, go to my group. We write at Dawn 365. And I'm going to do another live there from the bike a little bit later. And we'll talk about my progress in the 30 day challenge. I want to hear about your progress in the 30 day challenge. Uh, get intentional with people in your life. Talk to them, find out what they're about, find out what they're going through, find out their struggles and, uh, try and change the world together. We're all in this together. So, all right, let's jump in prayers. Awesome. Holy spirit. Amen. I'll give you something cool to look at. All right. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, please look over all the people in all my life and in the world that uh, they can stay on track and keep their focus and not be distracted by the things the devil throws at us. Um, let, him, let him learn how to breathe. Let them learn how to let stuff roll off. Let them learn how to not be consumed by uh, bad things in their lives. To only look forward and only be positive. Amen. All right. So we're up in Lake George here. We are representing elite. Be most, wake up every day. Be the most elite version of yourself. Don't let things bother you. Don't let things steal your joy. Let it let it roll. Take a deep breath and let it roll. And uh, that's it. So, fire starts fire. Go out and inspire someone to do something good today. Put your head on the pillow every night knowing that you made the world a better place. And uh, happy Friday. Let's go get some stuff done. Follow me over my uh, Facebook group. We write at Dawn365, all one word. Get in there. Follow me. I'll be live there in a little bit. Talking about the 30-day challenge. Hi, everyone. God bless. Love you all.